Hello family, we thank the Lord for another day, a day he's made for us to be glad and to rejoice in. Today, as we continue to lift up Ghana before the Lord, my prayer focus is concerning bribery. My passage of scripture is Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 19. You shall not distort justice, you shall not be partial, and you shall not take a bribe. For a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and perverts the words of the righteous. So, Father, this is your word. And, Lord, we know that your word is that which guides us to know and to even adhere to your precepts that would cause us to be holy and blameless in our walk with you. We also know that even for those who may not believe you as God Almighty, and have Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. Many, O oh God, of the instructions that you gave to the people of Israel is still applicable in our lives because it is for our good. And Lord God, we know that Father God, for many nations where bribery is considered a crime, they have come to the realisation of that of the truth, this word that we've read today, Lord God stands true at all times, that when bribery is rife, not only, O oh God, does it blind the eyes of the wise, but it perverts justice, and Lord God, it leads to all manner of evil. And so, Father, today, as we lift up the nation of Ghana before you, we know God Almighty, even based, O oh God, on the corruption index that, Lord, I shared yesterday that it is a country where God Almighty policies and change needs to take place because we know that part of corruption in the country involves bribery. Bribery, O oh God, at all levels of society. Bribery, Father God Almighty, even sadly in the public sector. And Lord God, it is also prevalent in the private sector. And so, Father, today, for many of these people who are involved in these practices, they know that it is wrong, but they do it, Father God, with a motive of having selfish gain. But Lord, your word is saying, or says, that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We want to see Ghana exalted. We want to see Ghana bring glory and honor to your holy name. We want to see economic progress father god in ghana we want to see ghana flourish as a nation but in order for that to happen practices such as bribery father god almighty needs to be shelved needs not to be commonplace in the country so father today we pray in the name of jesus that for those of god who have been involved of god almighty in giving and accepting bribes that you will cause there to be a change of hearts. For Father, the person who gives a bribe is equally guilty, Father God, if they stand before you, because they would have been aiding someone to live a life that is contrary to the instruction that you have given. So Father, for anyone who has given a bribe or continues to do so, so that they can have their way, so that people can pervert justice, particularly if they are believers, we pray that your Holy Spirit will bring such great conviction upon their lives, that they will get to the place of realizing that God Almighty, it is an error, it is something that, O oh God, displeases you greatly. So, Lord, we ask that you will have mercy. Show yourself strong, Father God Almighty. On behalf of Ghana and Lord God, let there be an awakening, Father that Lord God Almighty would cause even further, whether it be individual organizations or even the government itself to bring in policies and laws and rules and regulations that would make it so difficult for people to give bribes and to accept bribes, that when people accept bribes, Father God, it doesn't even matter what position of authority and influence they have, that God Almighty 
it would become a criminal offense. And if it is already a criminal offense, that those of God Almighty, laws of God will be upheld to Father God, and that God Almighty, they will watch and, and ensure that God it will be so difficult for people to carry on with those practices. I also pray that God Almighty, people that are Father God in positions of high authority, particularly within the public sector, in government, Father God, who are involved in these practices and maybe have been doing so for so long, God, may you bring them to a place where they will be exposed. Father God, begin to expose people that need to be exposed, Father God, so that, Lord, justice will prevail in the nation of Ghana. Because, God, you love justice. You love righteousness. You love holiness, Lord God Almighty. And, Lord God, you want to see the nation exalted. But, God Almighty, as your word has always said, where there is sin, Father God, the righteousness of the people is dimmed. And Lord God, you turn your face when people continually sin against you, O God, and against one another. So Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, let there be a change of heart, a change of mindset regarding bribery in the nation of Ghana, that there will be a change of attitude and that God, there will be a decline in the activities that involves bribery in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. We're personalizing it by saying, I do not have a spirit of fear. I have God's spirit of power and love and self-control. And I just want to apologize um, on this note for any noise that might be in the background. I do the recording and um, sometimes unexpectedly um, there may be one or two um, sounds or noise in the background. And so if you do have that today, sincere apologies. And I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.